in this video we will be learning how we can restore the physical server backup so i have taken the backup of this server but i am going to restore it into the virtual server because i do not have a physical server right now to show you and if i use another server it will be quite difficult to record so i will be using this virtual server to restore this physical server and when the restore will complete you are going to find all the applications including this photos everything will be there on the virtual server so let us get ready i'm just switching on the host and second thing is vmware vsphere client use your username which is quite obvious root and password Now on this ESXi host, let it to be run is because it is not even started so I cannot connect the first thing. One more thing, the backup I have taken is 118 gig of space and I probably don't have that amount of hard disk drive here. I already have 140 gig of drive that's quite good and uh, okay now I'm connecting to this host and there is a summary and you're going to find data stores okay so this data store i have uploaded the vm recovery media by using this option here and i am going to create a new virtual machine a custom machine and I'm giving name my machine and I'm going to store that on the another data store you might have only one data store that's fine and the windows is actually windows 10 64 gig and you can select here VM network and select the data store in case you have only one data store go with the defaults hundred thirty two go with edit the virtual machine go to cd dvd go to iso file and browse your Vim backup recovery ISO file click on connect finish now it's ready and we need to when you start just press the F2 button in order to boot from in order to open the BIOS and you can go and change the boot order to CD ROM okay I'm just maximizing the screen. This is quite normal booting up like a window recovery option.
so this is the recovery environment is initializing If we use second option, it will take you to the window recovery environment. But the first option, bare metal recovery, will take us to the Veeam backup recovery environment. Local storage, but you don't find any local storage here right now. It's giving you a warning. So go with the network storage. And it's not a shared folder. We have been using Veeam backup repository. You need to configure the network as well so go to the ethernet go to the properties and here twenty let's try with this if you don't get an error that means it's pretty fine so 192.168.430.24 this is the place of Veeam backup server and IP address so username is done If this fails, then probably there will be a network issues. I need to add some network adapter to my ESXi server, and if it goes okay, we are good. taking quite longer than usual time okay we have no other option to wait for it so Meanwhile, I can go to this my virtual machine, go to edit setting, network adapter, add adapter, add next, and select this one. Finish. Okay. Taking more time, I'll pause video to save the video length. So we can see now uh, the network thing has been done, and we need to check that's the one we have multiple backups. So we need to use this one, the last latest one. Go next and go next. I want it to be the entire computer and view automatically disk so I'm checking on which particular disk so that's fine go ok do nothing go next and go to the restore button and that's it all good let's wait to it complete the restoring process so if you look it at there are loading backup files to restoring the system reserve to the restoring C drive now so it takes several minutes depends on the speed and network connectivity and then I will show you once the restoration is complete mm -hmm.
restoring to the virtual machine C drive has been 39% completed and it can take again few more minutes to get 100% done once it complete I will reboot the machine and show you the entire restore so uh, this has been done and I'm just going to restart my machine uh, before restart I would like to remove the CD DVD from the virtual machine and that's it be stick to this end of this video and you will find out I have restored it to a virtual machine the backup I have taken from a physical machine which I am going to side of the screen and you can see each and everything has been copied successfully thank you just watch the video